Saturday, June 17th, 1933. Outside Kansas City's Union Station, in a hail of bullets and a pool of blood, the FBI as we know it was born. That morning, four federal agents and three local lawmen met for what seemed like a simple mission. Their job was to transfer a captured fugitive named Frank Nash from a train to a waiting car and drive him back to Leavenworth Prison. But as they loaded their prisoner into Agent Ray Caffrey's Chevrolet, gunmen appeared out of nowhere and all hell broke loose. Hundreds of weekend travelers streamed out of the station and saw the carnage. Four of the seven lawmen, including Agent Caffrey, lay dead amid the blood and broken glass. Fugitive Frank Nash sat slumped in the front seat, his head blown apart. The gunmen had fled without a chase. Their identities and their motive remained a mystery. The story of this unprecedented attack on federal agents in broad daylight made front page headlines across the country. In June 1933, the Kansas City Massacre stunned a nation that had grown weary of crime. Prohibition was on its way out, but as the killings at Union Station seemed to show, the law was losing its battle with an underworld that had become more brazen, more violent, and smarter. Government by laws had fallen apart. It was demoralized, it was discredited, whereas the lawless elements showed that they could set up their own rules and govern themselves. And so crime became a test that the government had to pass or forfeit public confidence. In the wake of the Kansas City massacre, the country, for the first time, looked to Washington to wage an all-out war on crime. 